Hey, what is going on guys? It's your boy Jumbo Boy here and today what I've got for you is a Formula E uh, review and uh, yeah, um, I'm back by the way so uh, yeah, I'm back, I'm officially back, I've got some great videos for you guys, I've got the Xbox One, so uh, a lot of Forza 5 and Forza Horizon 2 videos coming your way so look forward to that. And uh, yeah, let's get started. So, um, so, uh, so it was round four at Buenos Aires and in Argentina. And uh, I'm not going to go into practice mainly because um, I didn't really, I didn't really pay attention to it a lot. I'm only going to concentrate on qualifying and the race itself. So yeah, let's go straight into qualifying. So. Qualifying was pretty interesting, to say the least. Uh, we saw a lot of cars locking up their brakes as they were pushing hard through this very demanding racetrack. Um, we saw um, we saw Yano Trilli have an accident. I think it was in practice, I'm not quite sure. Practice or qualifying, I'm not quite sure. He uh, spun at one particular corner and uh, crashed into the crashed into the uh, barriers, and that was the end of his session. Uh, likewise for Lucas Degrassi, but although he did manage to uh, set a lap time, uh, unlike Trilly, who didn't, uh, Degrassi uh, would uh, start from fifth after the crash uh, coming out of one of the corners. I'm not quite sure what it was, so uh, unlucky for Lucas Degrassi there, but. You know, not the worst of luck because at the end of the day he does start in fifth place. Um, the Virgin cards were doing well, third and fourth, nice. That was pretty good. No, second and third. Yeah, second and third. They were doing nicely, but in the end it was Sebastian Buemi who took pole position for the uh, Buenos Aires E Prix, and uh, yeah, uh, let's move on to into the race. So. It was a good start from Sebastian Buemi, but a ballistic start from Nick Heidfeld, who managed to go round the outside of um, the two Virgin cars to take second place. Uh, after that, we saw Lucas Degrassi, or before that, we saw uh, Michele Trutti get into trouble, uh, that which put her a lap down in the uh, first few laps, which was unfortunate. But that's racing at the end of the day. So uh, moving on, we saw uh, Lucas Degrassi making a brilliant move on uh, Sam Bird. Uh, no, um, wait, no, yeah, he did make a brilliant. He, no, he made a brilliant move on uh, Sam Bird, and then afterwards made a beautiful move as well on um, Hami Al uh going down into the hairpin. A good move from. Uh, the Audi Sport app driver, and then after that, we saw. I think we saw the same move going on with uh, Heidfeld, uh, uh, Lucas Degrassi making a move on Heidfeld down into the hairpin again. A beautiful move, a little bit aggressive, but you know uh, there was no, in, but there was no like real serious contact, which was uh, all good. So just a little bit argy bargy, you would say. And then afterwards, we saw Nick Heidfeld, uh, I think he was running third, uh, have a problem. Um, something, I think he like ran wide, I'm not quite sure, but he, uh, he got a really, he, was, he, he went really slow coming into the last part of the, uh, of the circuit, which uh, dropped him down, right down into, I believe, uh, fifth, dropped into fifth place. Then, uh, come lap 19, come lap 20, we saw an accident going on. It was uh, Karun Chandok. Karun Chandok had a suspension ish, uh, suspension failure, put him into the wall, uh, put him into the wall, and that was the end of his race, which brought up the safety car and a lot of confusion, you know, in, uh, in terms of the timings, you know, to be honest, because, you know, a lot of people were in different places, you know, Buemi was like, ahead of the safety car, uh, the leader of the safety car was like Micro, Marco Andretti and whatnot, so it was really, really, it was really confusing, but after the, the pit stops, we did manage to get a clear idea on who was the winners and who was the losers, 
Uh, by the way, Sam Bird did get a penalty. The big loser was Sam Bird getting a penalty. Uh, Sam Bird uh, crossed. Uh, Sam Bird passed the uh, line, the red light, passed the red light, and uh, that and that got him a uh, penalty, unfortunately. And then, as the safety car came out, um, as the safety car came out, we saw a little bit of good passing going on in the midfield, but then a uh, disaster struck, and which was the leader of the race, Sebastian Buemi, hitting the wall, putting him out of the race, gifting the lead of the race to Lucas de Grasse, the championship leader. But... Oh, disaster struck for Lucas de Grassi. Oh, 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 he had a suspension failure. I think he hit the wall, then had a su suspension failure. That put him, no, he actually had a suspension failure. That put him out of the race. He didn't hit any walls. So, uh, yeah, unlucky for Lucas de Grassi, the championship leader, in trouble uh, at the, uh, in, at the uh, end of, at the climax of the race. And then afterwards, uh, we saw contact being made. Daniel, Daniel Apt crashing into uh, the into the side of uh, Jaime Algarshari. Uh, basically, Vern and as well Vern uh, having problems. I'm not quite sure what the problem was. He was going really slow uh, up in third place. Then he dropped down to sixth. Unlucky for Vern. Could have had a real shot off a podium there. And um, yeah, so contact was made between Apt and Al Ghoshari. Uh Al Ghoshari did manage to climb his way up into third, but then the crabbing, I believe, got worse and worse, and I think he dropped, and as a result, dropped down further, uh, dropped down probably into fifth or sixth or seventh, so unlucky for him there. And, uh, yeah, and uh, who would have thought it? Who would have thought it? Alex Fel uh, no, Alex Felix da Costa, Wins, wins, wins his first race in Formula E and the first race for the team. Amri Aguri give, get, getting um, Alex giving Amri Aguri their first win in Formula E this season. A remarkable victory, a very very chaotic victory, a chaotic race all throughout the grid. A lot of battling and. Uh, yeah, a lot of crashes, a lot of drama throughout the race. As well, Nicholas Prost got second place. Good drive by him, especially starting from seventh, I think, no, eighth on the grid. So, good drive by him. And uh, Nelson Piquet, what a, what a drive by him. Um, I never expected him to get third place, to be honest. You know, and uh, after the race, either, he, he, even, even himself was surprised to be in third place, you know. So... Yeah, it was a very chaotic and it was a very chaotic race, you would say to be honest. So uh yeah. So that's it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh yeah, I'll see you guys next time. It's your boy Jibber Boy, I'm out. Peace!